Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and this is episode 900. We are playing not Super Mario All Stars, but the game we're playing is in Super Mario All Stars. So if you know anything about Super Mario All Stars, it is a collection of the greatest Super Mario games of all time. Well, the NES are. There, there's really good ones these days. I actually really do really like Mario Wonder. It's the, the recent one that came out on Switch. Um, but, you know, I grew up, you know, Mario Brothers 1. I remember seeing this in stores, you know, like it is it, it just just the, the image of the cart itself. It like reminds me of like, this was the time when video games changed, guys. Like for me, playing Atari 2600 growing up, I always liked video games. I thought they were cool, but Atari was always so cryptic and difficult and like I still played them. But Mario 1 was like a magical experience that changed the game, literally. Um, then Mario 2, when Mario 2 came out, it was like Nintendo was coming into its own. It was brighter, it was faster, it was cooler. Um, it, I mean, Mario 1 was still great. Mario 2 was so different and weird, and it was about a dream world and picking up turnips and stuff, but it was so awesome. And then the hype behind Mario 3 was literally unbelievable. It, it's, you know... Um, I think, as I've said many times, over the years, I used to think Mario 3 was my favorite, but over the years, I think Mario 2 actually is, because of how different and unique it is. But Mario 3, my god, it was a beast. Each of these Mario games is, is defining... I don't care if people don't give Mario 2 the respect it, it deserves. For me, it is, it is. I think, just my favorite looking back on it now. But they're all amazing, all great. And then we've got this little guy here. Now, when you grew up in the 80s, before the internet, if something came out in Japan, you had no idea. And maybe somebody's dad did business overseas or whatever and would bring stuff back and you'd be like, is this a real product? Is this a bootleg? What is this? Or somebody would go over there and say, you know, in Japan they have Mario 2 and you'd be like, what? Mario 1 just came out. They can't have Mario 2. Things were really weird back in the day. Mario 1 came out in Japan. It wasn't until like a couple years later that the NES came out in America and North America and Canada and all that stuff. And when it came out, this released in Japan, I believe. It was like very close, like 1985, 1986, yeah, like a year later, right? This isn't until 1988 that Mario 2 came out. This game is actually doing great service, letting me talk about all this stuff with the years and stuff. But yeah, this is Japan's Mario 2. And this game was later released as Super Mario USA. I actually have the Japanese Famicom carts of Mario 1, 2, and 3. So I have the Mario USA. It's in a box somewhere in storage right now. But yeah, so Mario 2 differed depending on what country you were in. So this is Super Mario Brothers 2, the Japanese Super Mario Brothers 2, known as The Lost Levels. And that is the game that we are playing here today for our 900th episode. We have come so bloody far, guys. It, it is truly unbelievable. I'm going to play... Hmm, I'm going to go as a Luigi game just to mix things up a little bit. So there's a lot of differences to talk about here today in terms of, you know, what what is the Lost Levels? Why did this never come out in, uh, in uh, you know, North America? What, why is this the Japan only sequel? And a lot of people have talked about this over the years. Um, so, you know, some of the stuff that I'm going to tell you guys today is not new. Uh, I will also fully admit that I'm going to be drawing purely from memory. So, oh God. Uh, so I may get some details wrong, or they may be a little hazy, you know, like, I've never claimed to be a his gaming historian or journalist, so take what I say about as accurately as talking to a friend, you know? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna intentionally lie to you, but I, uh, I may or may not have everything correct. Anyway, so Mario 2 here, Mario Lost Levels, Mario 2 Japan. This game was released in Japan as a sequel to Super Mario, um, the original Super Mario. It didn't come out on Super Nintendo, by the way. It came out on NES or Famicom. Uh, I'm playing the Super Nintendo version in Lost Levels just because I think it looks a little nicer and, uh, 
you know, it, it plays fine and stuff. So just for convenience, I thought I'd throw in the Lost Levels version, but I could have, I could have, you know, found a ROM and played this on a Famicom. But in any case, um, so this game was basically Super Mario One with harder levels. Like that's that's the gist of it. Now Luigi and Mario also had different jumping mechanics. So Luigi could jump high, but he was a little slower. Um, and that is sort of a trait, oh God, of Luigi's that, that you know, you would see in, oh, fuck, <laughs> in later Mario games. That jump screwed me up so hardcore. Okay, something I do have to wrap my head around is that this is a much harder game than uh, the Mario one. So I, I can't dick around here. I really do have to focus today. One of the other nice things about playing on Super Nintendo is we will have infinite continues, which it definitely looks like I, I will need. I'm not sure if I'm going to beat this one here today. In fact, barring a sudden burst of gaming ability, I can almost guarantee I will not. Um, now, I have beat this game before. Um, I have, like, sat down. Uh, so I think the first time I beat it, I think it was back when I was working a blockbuster video in undergrad i had like a saturday off and uh i know that in the evening i was supposed to have a party uh, or go to a party with with friends from work so they were all kind of working and i was just you know at home and i didn't have any exams to study for or anything so i kind of figured i'd take like a saturday off like a mental health break day and uh i i knew about lost levels i tried it but i like never sat down and beat it and again, this is, I mean, it's not pre-internet, you know, I went to university during uh, the 2000s, the early 2000s, but it was sort of like at a time when like you didn't, there weren't really as many resources online for looking stuff up. Like nowadays you can go find a YouTube video where somebody lets play any bloody game you want, right? Um, and uh, so I didn't really have anything to look up. So I did it all on my own. I figured everything out. And there's a few puzzle levels. I will say there's a few puzzle levels that took some time. But I seem to recall like I started playing like a little after lunch. And I think I played like all afternoon. Like it took me like five hours or something crazy to beat the game. Again, infinite continues. So I'm not like a gaming god or anything like that. Um, but I do remember, I do remember doing that. And I do remember it was kind of, kind of fun. And one of the, one of the guys I worked with, he was a bit of a gamer and, uh, he was like, what'd you do this afternoon? I was like, oh, I played Mario Lost Levels. He's like, oh yeah. I was like, yeah, I beat it with Luigi. He's like, man, that's, that's quite an achievement actually. Like that is not an easy game. You know, most people who <laughs> at work, you know, like the girls and stuff, they're like, what'd you do? I'm like, oh, I played Mario all day. They're like, oh, that's cool. You know, like that's it. But like he actually knew, he knew the trials of trying to beat the lost levels. So uh, I remember that too and thought that was kind of cool. But anyway, yeah, so this is basically, it's kind of like a Mario Brothers 1 hack. Um, like nowadays, considering the levels I've seen people make on Mario Maker and stuff, like, oh God, ah, son of a bitch. I think this game is a bit of a joke in terms of how easy it is. But you can see there's all these little tricks and traps and stuff. Like that mushroom uh, intentionally goes... <laughs> I just slid right off. Luigi is so slippery. The mushroom intentionally slides off the cliff rather than going to like a safer spot. Um, so it's like they have all these cruel little pranks in this game. And I guess, you know, like this is... Uh, this is going back to an era when Mario was young. And so when they made this game... It was sort of like the Japanese audiences wanted like a harder Mario. So this like satisfied them. But when it came time to release Mario 2 in North America, basically they had an executive who did a bunch of, uh, oh God, a bunch of the play testing for, he, he would try out the Japanese games on the Famicom before they would actually launch in, in America. And they sent him the Japanese Mario 2 and they were like, how do you think American audiences uh, we'll enjoy it. Damn it. And he was like, his, 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 his exact words you can find online, but it's something to the effect of like, I felt like it was a cruel joke. It, it was torturous. Like every single thing I tried, I was punished for. Like, this is not a fun game. And I choose the word fun very selectively because, um, I think this is actually a good game. Like, it's not like I've played trash guys. I've played absolute trash in my days. And this is not like a bad made Mario game or like a cheap ripoff or something. Um, but this is 
very high on the challenge scale. And if you, oh my God, look at that. Like every, every single thing is kind of set up to trap you. Um, and so you really have to like get your wits about you if you're gonna play this game. Like this is not a game to introduce somebody to Mario. Look, that, the timing of that, it just totally screwed me up. If this is Mario 1, all the timings would be adjusted to be more forgiving, I feel. All the heights of everything would be a little more forgiving. Like, this is just like... Um, again, it's, it's, it's high in the challenge. I don't want to say punishing per se, but I wouldn't disagree with anyone who said it was punishing, so... A very, very difficult game. We're on level 1 and I've already had to use a continue, right? <laughs> like... Uh, and you know, I just, I, I just, oh, Jesus Christ. I just gotta bring my A game, but man, oh man. They do not make it easy. So I think there's only seven worlds. Oh God. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think like seven, two might be the very end of the game. So we'll see. I mean, maybe we'll see. I'm definitely not gonna make like a five hour video for you guys. Like I, you know, the first time I beat this back when I was an undergrad. But yeah, there's some puzzle levels and stuff. So anyway, it's a very challenging and difficult game with some very unforgiving mechanics at times. Um, it is the kind of game that if you are a Mario fiend, you will probably love it. If you play those Mario Maker levels that are like crazy difficult, this might be a walk in the park for you. Um, but uh, for the average audience, you know, like for, you know, like realistically, like I know people say, oh, Nintendo's for kids and babies and stuff. And like, I don't uh, fully agree with that, but I will say that like back, oh God, back at the height of, of Mario, it's like, you know who was playing it? It, it? it was kids, right? Like me and my friends after school would, would play, uh, you know, Mario 1 and Mario 2 and stuff on our Nintendos. So it's like, there were a lot of kids playing. Uh, and I think if you had given them this, if you'd given Canadian and American kids this, um, it just wouldn't have, it just wouldn't have go gone as well. You know, people would have been like, oh, this game's too hard, and they just wouldn't have liked it. So I completely agree with Nintendo's decision. Holy hell. <laughs> Luigi, you suck, man. Uh, oh, 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 God. I thought that spring was going to launch me high into the air. There's some springs later that, like, launch into orbit, which is pretty funny. You know, I thought that this game would be easier because Luigi can jump high. But it turns out, oh, I'm gonna land. Oh God. Oh, that worked out. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> that's, oh, whatever, we missed the top. That's how hard this game is. I'm like literally like stress scratching right now. Like between levels, I'm like itching my nose because I'm so stressed by this game. So what is, what is Mario 2 that we got in North America? It is Doki Doki Panic. So many people have talked about this. I think I've even talked about it on my channel. But yeah, Doki Doki Panic, that is the Mario 2 we got. It is a non-Nintendo, well, it is a non-Mario game that was produced by Nintendo R&D, but it was produced for a TV station and it had like the TV station characters. Um, and what they did is they basically just rebranded it a Mario game, but it introduced all sorts of like mechanics that still exist today, like Peach floating when she jumps, Luigi jumping extra high, although it was also in this game, so that's sort of up for debate as to who invented that. But also other things like Mario being able to pick stuff up, which was expanded in Mario 3, you know, Shy Guys and Birdo and all sorts of characters that still exist in Mario today. Um, so yeah, I know... There was a period of time where I think a lot of people were like, you know, when they found out about the Doki Doki Panic thing, they're like, oh my god, so that means that Mario 2 that we got in North America isn't a real Mario game. But I think a lot of people these days say, no, it is, you know, whoa, oh god. Um, and, and again, truthfully, like, this game plays and feels like a Mario 1 hack. So, oh yeah, how the hell do you do this? This, uh, shoot. There's something here. No, no. Oh, there it is. Jesus. Oh, there we go. Yeah, like, look at that. Like, we're on level two and there's, like, this trick already. Like, if you didn't know that, how the hell would you get past that part of the game? You'd be so confused. 
Also, you know what I'm realizing is turtles' shells are way deadlier in the early Mario games compared to the later. Like, I'm so afraid of hitting a turtle shell, because A, they go so fast, and B, they can bounce off of stuff and ricochet back in your face so fast that they're, they're deadly. They're deadly. I feel like they slowed them down in the later Marios and also made them, like, bounce off, fall off cliffs more often. But in this, it's like, you create a bullet. It's like firing a bullet that's going to bounce around the room until you run away or it hits you. So it's, it's very deadly to hit a turtle. Uh these games. Also, when you bounce off a turtle shell, you get this... T you, you can't control the height of your bounce in this game. So if I hold jump... Oh, we actually can. I don't know. There's sort of... There's, there's slightly weird bounce mechanics where sometimes I'm bouncing too far off of enemies or it's giving me momentum I don't want. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> my palms are sweating, guys. You guys remember, like, back... When you used to play like intense Nintendo, thank God some of the levels are short. You play intense Nintendo games as a kid and your palms would get super sweaty. Yeah. Um, so yeah, anyway, Doki Doki Panic became uh, the Mario 2 that we all know and love. And as I say, like that game, I think because it started not as a Mario game and then was rebranded as one. Um, ah, shit, I kind of got an extra life there. Um, because because of that oh there's okay hold on i'm gonna do something stupid i'm gonna die there's a little trick where you can get infinite lives on this level i believe i want to give it a shot i don't know if i still have the skills to do it you go like this shoot okay well the trick is what you're supposed to do is after the shell kills all the turtles you bounce on the shell and then you kind of keep bouncing off of it and you get infinite lives it is possible to do there's another level that has a buzzy beetle that does it uh as well and actually i'm not even 100 percent sure that this is the level where you could do that but uh there there is a castle level or two where you can get infinite lives i recall yeah, this is tricky. Thank God. <laughs> Another thing that I remember about this game very clearly is that a lot of levels are easier if you're small. When you're small, you can like run under a lot of like traps and stuff. But when you're big is when you take a hit. And I seem to recall playing through 99% of these levels small. Um, we're on level three. We're all already getting hammer bros. It's nuts. I think the other thing about this game too is like... With very few exceptions, I feel like I never get the fire flower in this game because it is too hard to not take a hit and lose your power up. And I'm checking all of these. There's nothing. I mean, I've only been big a couple of times today. Oh, and the poison mushroom. We haven't even talked about the poison mushroom. Now, that is a mushroom that will poison you and kill you. That is a thing. Um, you don't see the poison mushroom very much... In modern Mario games, they've kind of, like, given up on it. Um, oh yeah, I think I gotta, like, uh, shit. Oh, I can't believe I didn't take a hit there. I will be saying curse words today. <laughs> I generally try not to curse, uh, you know, too aggressively on my stream. I mean, first of all, most games don't make me curse too much. Oh yeah, you can go past the flag on this one. Can't recall if I want to do this or not. I guess I've done it, so I'm committed. Is this a warp or is this gonna warp me back? It warps me back. You son of a beach. <laughs> then you have to commit suicide. At least they gave you that little suicide pit instead of making you uh, wait for 200 seconds. So I lost my power up, had to throw a life away. It, it, it's true. The de what were the developers thinking on this when they were like, let's punish those kids. Every kid who bought a Nintendo, fuck you. Or I guess it was a Famicom because this was, you know, Pan. But yeah, man, <laughs> so punishing. It is basically a bunch of troll levels. Um, I don't know. It oh, fuck. It's kind of funny because it's like, that's such an easy secret. And you're probably like, whoa, you can go past the flag. That's so cool. Mom, look. Oh, oh it's warping me back to level one. That's not what I did. Nobody wants that. So mean to do to a kid. I feel like this is the one mean Mario game. And in Mario 3, in Mario World, in 
the new Super Mario Brothers and Mario Wonder. Every Mario game since has been a nice game. This is like the one time when Nintendo's like, let's get mean. You know, let's get weird with it. Let's just go mean on these kids. Like aggressively, uh, aggressively troll them as much as we can in levels. Ugh. Because it kind of feels like there's a pact. There's an unspoken pact between game developers and players where like, if you discover that you can like break a rule, like if you find a way to go, oh, fuck, you find a way to go past the flag at the end of the level, um, behind it is supposed to be something fun and exciting. You're in a secret area, right? Like remember in Mario, Mario one, uh, level two, realizing that you could jump above the bricks and jump into the like score area and like run along the top, right? That was so cool. When we first discovered that, we were like, holy shit, man, look at this! And then, somebody figured, you can keep going, and you can go past that warp pipe, and you can discover a warp to later levels. That, like, if you can picture it, level 1, 2, the underground level, where you run along the top, and then you find the warp pipe at the end, that was like... That was not a, that was not that difficult a secret to find, but it still was a secret, because it took a little bit of out-of-the-box thinking to discover. Everybody knew it eventually. But it was basically a sign that the developers were telling us, if you can find fun ways to break this game, we're going to give you fun rewards, you know? And that sort of has become the unspoken pact with uh, all game developers, right? Like, that that's how video games typically work. So troll games basically say, if you try and break the rules, you're going to get punished. And if you follow the rules sometimes, you're going to get punished. You know, they're just like mean so i kind of feel like um mario lost levels here it's taking a little detour into mean it's trying it out it's like what happens if we get really mean to people will it will they still love us uh this is a puzzle level i think i think i'm supposed to go down there um and the answer is no people will not like you well again not to say that people didn't like this game i think we stay down again and then we go up and then middle nope oh god now i believe i have read that in the famicom version of this level so you might hear very faint dings and stuff in the famicom version of this level you had no indicator if you're going the right way or not so this is one of those levels that will uh repeat endlessly yeah there you go gotta do that um you have to go the right path very creative idea for a level i think it's it's a cool idea but i mean having those dings makes all the difference otherwise you have just no idea what's going on die bowser i do have a faint memory that because Bowser's always the same. Sometimes he throws hammers and there's obstacles, but he's always the same, more or less. I do have a faint memory of getting to Bowser on the very last stage of this game, back when I played it back in the day, and dying. And then having to do the whole stage again. And that, the last level, when you guys do see it, I mean, if, if we get there today again, I don't want to commit to it because, uh, you know, we may hit a brick wall where just we can't re really go forward and it gets very boring seeing me die at the same levels and we just say, you know what, let's just call it a day. Huh. Those springs are quite hard, actually. I don't know if it looks easy when I do it, but, um, oh, you son of a beach. I can't... <laughs> See, they, they just have a way of, like, getting you in this game no matter what you do. It's like just the... The location of the enemies, it's like they swerve a little bit towards you or something. Things are just a little harder in this game than any other... Oh, yeah, you have to hit a vine here, right? Oh, God. I'm dead. Okay, hold on. Yes. This is how you get out of the level, I believe. You make it to the end, they troll you. It's weird that I'm remembering... Oh, no, this is just a bonus. Weird I'm remembering this stuff, because I haven't played this game too much. But yeah, this is the, if you want a challenge. Oh, fuck. oh, no, you can't even jump through the thing. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go, boys. Ugh. 
They, they don't even give you a break on the bonus level. Even the bonus level is, like, brutal. Alright, and then... Can you get all three? Huh! If you get enough sort of horizontal momentum and you get it at the right spot, you can't actually technically get all three. Oh. Makes it look like that's the end of the level, but they're like, psych! Oh, jeez. Oh, this might be a level where you can technically get infinite lives, because I think you could keep doing that bonus part. You son of a bitch. I think the, the Lakitu in this one is programmed to drop his little, uh, babies when he's, like, right over top of you so you get punished more. Hey, we got a 1-Up for some reason. I'll take it. I have no idea how that happens. We got fireworks, too. Yeah! The one nice thing about this game, playing it on the, uh, Super Nintendo here, and- Oh! Fuck. Look at all these bullets! Uh, the one nice thing about playing on the Super Nintendo is if we die, we get to continue on the exact level that we left off. Um, I think I could have got infinite one-ups there if I let a bunch of Lucky 2 guys fall. But, uh, yeah. I feel like even the stars in this game troll you, because the stars often come about at points where, like, if you're not invincible and you hit a turtle, you can get a bunch of one-ups. But, uh, if you have the star, you just kill the turtle. So I feel like even the stars are pranking you. It's like nothing in this game is what it seems. You, like, learn to trust no one. We'd have a very, uh, distrusting set of people if they grew up playing this, you know. Um, so here's my question to you guys. I've rambled a lot about, uh, well, f I didn't hit it right, and you saw what happened there. I pressed the jump button, it just wasn't quite right. And now I'm small, and I'll never be big again. <laughs> um, so here's my question to you guys. Whoa, jumped right over that first one, didn't plan to do that. Have you guys played the Lost Levels here? Or is this your first time seeing it? I am curious. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. When you get the mushroom, it kills your upward momentum, so I thought I was gonna fall right into the pit there. That bullet was meant for me. Jesus. They do not give you a break. Oh my god. Okay, let's just do this. <laughs> like, look at that. That's your end thing. They didn't do that to you in Mario 1 till you were on, like, World 8, you know? Like, that is, that is hardcore. Oof. Yeah, I'm just gonna take my time at this part here. Nobody needs to be a hero. Oh, oh God, Luigi! <laughs> my palms, they're so sweaty. Um, anyway, have you guys played this? Or, or uh, you know, uh, was your first exposure to this on Mario All-Stars? Um, I guess if it was and you have played, that answers my question. I'm also curious too, like, I, I remember as a kid, I did hear rumors. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, get it? Yes! Oh, God, and we lost it. Okay, well, now we know where it is when we die and we have to do this level again. Oh, right. I remember this part. This looks easy, but it is brutal. The physics in this game is like if you bonk your head, it knocks you down with a fury, like you get... Knocked down really fast. And this, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. Those Hammer Brothers are brutal. These red piranhas, I don't think will stop unless you're actually standing on the pipe. How the hell am I supposed to do this? I'm just gonna die here. Oh, I can't believe that worked. I re- I- Fuck. <laughs> I was gonna say, I really can't talk all that much when I'm playing these hard levels. Um... But yeah, so I, I was gonna ask if uh, any of you guys did have, like, a dad or something who did business in, like, Hong Kong, and would, like, come back, you know, with, like, um, games or other th things that we here in the West didn't typically have. I remember there was always like, oh shit, one kid at school 
who would like have something like that. There's always one kid at school who had like these weird cartridges with like Asian writing that like none of us could read. And it would be like weird games we'd never heard of, which is I think contributed to like the myth of uh, Japan for us kids in the 80s. It's, like it seemed like such a magical uh, kind of world of technology and stuff. Jeez, you just really got to move when those guys come up. Oh god, that jump. This whole level scares me. I do not like it. I I'm very stressed right now, actually. Oh god. <sighs> okay. Ah, uh, Jesus. Dead! <laughs> God damn it! I slid right into him. You guys saw that too. Ugh. Half part of me thinks this could be the level we get stuck on, but I mean, you know, if I can make it to the boss with a mushroom, then I'm set because I can just run through him. Okay, go. Okay, I lost a mushroom here last time. But not this time. I'm too smart. Okay. The trick is, a lot of the jumps I was doing to get to the boss require you to be small. So I don't exactly know how I'm going to do this next part big. Also, oh, God. Uh, I was going to say the Hammer Brother might be the end of me, but fuck, did you see that? So another thing that is very difficult in this game is if you stop your horizontal momentum... Even if you're holding, like I was holding right there, but it wasn't enough. Shoot. Okay, well, no mushroom this time. It wasn't enough to um, actually sort of lean me into that little corridor I needed to get in. So, like, here's an example. Like, if you hit right on the wall here, it's like you lose all momentum and, like, you don't even move, right? Like, it's, it's crazy. So, it's like that little jump there off of that platform, that's actually really hard to do big. That's why I say a lot of this game is, like, actually a lot easier to do when you're small. <sighs> Wonder if there's a mushroom or something up here. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I can't believe I didn't die there. And I died. Bastard. I don't know what it is about the early Mario Hammer Brothers, but they, th they're they beasts. I think they throw hammers more randomly, and they, um... Uh, their jumps are less floaty. It's just like your reaction times just have to be so much faster for those old school Hammer Brothers. Hammer Brothers have always been a challenging enemy, but even in modern games where they tone them down a bit, they're still very challenging. But they're at least, uh, you know, more consistently doable. You have to try on them, but they're not like... I feel like when I encounter Hammer Brother uh, in this... Oh, God. It's like a semi-death sentence. Okay, okay, okay. I, I think I'm dead here? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Problem is, I was too big for that little jump that I was doing, so I didn't know what to do. I panicked and I just did a dumb thing. Okay, jump. All I have to do is get past the Bowser. All I have to do is get past the Bowser. I'm so nervous. Jesus. Okay, okay. Oh, nice try. <laughs> right where I wanted to land. They had to fire a fireball right where I wanted to land. Okay. I can get the mushroom because I know where it is, so that's not a problem. I think this might be one of the harder castles, although I know they're all quite challenging. So, like, it's not to say if we make it to level 5, we're definitely beating the game. I, th I have a feeling that if we somehow make it to level 7, I'm going to get stuck either on the castle or one of the worlds. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. 
Okay, I can do that. Can I get him to despawn? Because then I can go down. Yeah, this is better, I think. Oof. Oof. Oh god. Okay. Hold on, this could be good. I can almost make it to Bowser Big. Son of a bitch. I was there. I was- I'm going for it! Jump! Oh, we did it! <laughs> oh, I was like holding my breath for a while there. And it's so tense when you're right in front of him, you're like, we're gonna jump! And then when he jumps, you don't even have like good momentum to like run under him. It's always- I always feel like he's gonna land on me, you know? Okay, level five. The Buzzy Beetles are coming out. I've been skipping the start of levels, uh, like just the level start of level screen a little bit. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it's like showing you what kinds of enemies you're gonna encounter, which is kind of interesting. Um, but it's getting, A, it's getting more crowded, because it's like, now they're throwing everything at you. But B, it's, uh, getting more scary. They're throwing, like, harder enemies. I remember the bullet bills. Oh, yeah, this part. So now we have wind effects. Some of these effects is sort of like Thank God I'm Luigi, because they are a lot harder as Mario. But Mario has his own advantages. Um, as a kid, I think I always used to fi find the bullet bills quite difficult, but they're fairly controllable. Just kind of following this guy. <laughs> He's my buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Yeah, like, some of these jumps, dear God. If you were Mario, like, I probably would have died there. All right, and this. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got that. Oh, this is bonus. There, There's some point, there's some level, where if you do not get uh, a vine, you do not pass the level. And there is a, a later level that takes place in the clouds up here. In Mario 1, the clouds were always a bonus. But in the, the lost levels here in Japan Mario 2, the clouds, they end up using it for a level, which is kind of interesting. Um, hey, can I get these three? Here we go. Ah, oh, <laughs> I keep getting one. So there, I was on the right side there, but I just wasn't fast enough. Oh my god, oh, an actual... An actual warp zone! Alright, we're skipping level 5, folks. Screw it. Alright, we, we're- we're in the business! Uh, you know what, I think maybe we could pass this game, like, conceptually at least. Let's see, I wonder if I can get this guy. Nope. <laughs> but he can get me! I'll get a star. Oh, I'll actually take the 1-up instead. The star turned into a 1-up! Worth it. Oh yeah, I think there's a way to get a one up here, but you have to like bounce one of these guys like out of the thing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Whoa. Okay, this time I know how to how to do this little part over here. So first of all, we want a uh this. And we'll just let this guy fall out, naturally. Oh my god, and he still got me! I was prepared for him, too. Okay, now... Oh, are you kidding me? How did I get that one up? Huh. Well, I guess they're like, one one up is enough for you. At least we got to kill that Hammer Brothers. Whoa. I wonder if Nintendo ever thought of making, like, a Hammer Brothers game. Like, you have the Mario Brothers. What about the Hammer Brothers? You know what I mean? I don't know what the game would be. Shoot. Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> I don't know what the game would be, but it would be something. Because they've definitely made, um... Oh, God. So, like, conceptually... We can get in here. I can't believe I made that. 
Oh good, a a water stage bonus level. Not even a bonus level, it's just a stage, there's enemies. What kind of bonus level has like enemies that kill you? Um, the Super Ghouls and Ghosts franchise took the, like, Red Devil that everyone hated and they made Demon's Crest, so it's like you can take bad guys and make- give them their own games. That is... possible. Fuck. Oh, thank- <laughs> thank god. Every time I beat a level, I'm just like... It feels like one of those gears you turn where, like, once you pass a certain gear, it locks into place and you can't go back. So it's like, every time I pass a level, I'm just like, fuck that last level, <laughs> thank god we never have to do that one again. We made it. On to the next, you know? I feel like the longer this video goes, the more my cursing is intensifying. Which is totally natural, like, I'm not- I'm not thinking about it all that much, I just feel like, man, I'm getting raunchier as we go. Not in, like, a gross way, but just to, like, I'm dropping F-bombs now and stuff. Oh god. Because I think the game is stressing me out. It's like, just lowering my mental ability to monitor everything else that's go- Oh, 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 oh Damn it! <laughs> they trapped me! Between a cheap cheap and a blip bloop. Oh my god! Oh, I was- just trying to go under them. We got one extra life to make this happen. Oh, now they're not even down there. So they spawn randomly in inconvenient positions. Uh, oh. Son of a bitch, Luigi! I got s pulled into that guy! Alright, continue. Hey, at least we get to just start at this level. This one's not too bad. Oh! Oh my god! The- what, what- what are these guys called? Bleeps? Bleepers? Bloopers! I was gonna say, these bleep bloops are actually, like, driving me nuts. They're way more aggressive than in, uh... Other Mario games. That's for sure. Oh! Fuck. Uh, uh. When you're over a pit underwater, it kind of like yanks you horizontally and up and down. It's really hard to describe. Like, see, I'm kind of being like jostled around a bit. Now, I don't think these guys will land on you, technically. Okay, maybe I just need to slow down at some parts. But they do have turtles walking around, so I can't slow down too much. Oh, I'm getting jostled all over the place. Oh, fuck. No! This cheap cheap is gonna- I'm, I think I'm gonna hit him. Oh! I, you, you can't even, like, let go of the, the- the swim button for a second or it pulls you, like, right under. It's like there's a vortex under you. It's crazy. Okay. Oh, God. Maybe I'll go above. Just, like, forget it. Oh my god. We're at the end. We're at the end. Yes! Yes! Oh, dry land. Now, if a turtle came up and killed me right now, I'd be pissed. But thankfully, those stairs are pretty empty. I think I've beaten this game both with Luigi and Mario, but I think the first time through it was Luigi. Mario, it's like a different can of worms. Um, so with Mario, it's like you have a lot more horizontal control, but it's like because you can't make those high and far jumps like Luigi can, some parts of the game become really hard. So, oh, I can't believe I missed that. Basically, with Luigi, as long as you don't mind, like, the slippiness of them, and the slippiness has killed me a few times, so it's not, like, totally not a problem. But if you can manage it, then I think you do have an advantage in this game. Um, but, whoa! Look at that! Oh, come on! <laughs> Launches me into orbit off of that turtle, and then it shoots a guy right up my butt. Um, whoa! Um, yeah, but anyway, as long as you don't mind the, um, the slippiness, or you can manage it, Luigi, I think is better for me personally. Definitely, though, like, I think it varies. I think different people will have a different uh, favorite character between Mario and Luigi. And it is interesting 
that they, uh... This is a puzzle one, too. It is interesting that they actually, you know... Um... I think you gotta go up. Oops. Oh, incorrect. Oh, God. Jump. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you gotta go up there. I guess I- I don't have to go- I don't know why I was trying to do it right there. I could have done it at the, uh, far left part of the ledge. Slipped right into that guy. One life left. That's okay. We got infinite continues. So, really, the only penalty you suffer when you do die is you get knocked back to the beginning of the level. So, if you- if you had, like, a checkpoint halfway through the level, that checkpoint is gone. 6-4. Man, I... Okay, now I'm wondering if... Uh, for some reason, I had it in my head that the final level was level 7, but maybe the final level is level 9. I don't know. I do feel like we are... flying through. Okay, that was correct. Now what's next? It's always the most treacherous path in this game. Fuck, there's a little platform in the lava. There's a little platform in the lava. Be curious to see. I mean, I feel like we can definitely make it to level 7. Whoa. Whoa. The maze levels aren't too bad, actually, I find, because it's more about, you know, just learning the roots. And there, and there, there, and what do we want? I think it's down. Fuck me. <laughs> I can't catch a break! Can't get it going! Alright. We got this. This is definitely the Mario game to crack out if you want to, like, prove to a girl you have Mario skills, you know. Because that'll... That's what every girl wants. A dude who knows how to play the Japanese version of Mario 2. Uh, I mean, if that if that is what girls would want, then I would be sad, man. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't be, actually. Damn it. Come on, Luigi. You got this, bro. <sighs> Luigi is very committed to try and save his girlfriend, or his, his brother's girlfriend. Right? Like, he's all in on it. He's a, ri he's a real ride-or-die kind of guy. Respect. Okay, the first half of this puzzle is really not that bad. This part around here. I mean, I just don't know where to go next. I'm gonna try down. Gonna wait till that thing goes up. Come on. Fuck! Just a wall of fire! Yeah, yeah, it's definitely down. If they're trolling you on a route in the, in the maze, that's the way you gotta go. I would like to meet the people who made these levels and just, like, ask them, like, who hurt them? You know, like, who hurt you? Why did you do this to it? Why did you do this to your fans? Why did you do this to us? Whoa. We loved you, Mario. You're supposed to look out for us. Not punish us. Okay, now... Aha! See, I knew that was the proper route. Oh! I was gonna jump, built up the momentum, but then he launched a fireball, so I stopped the jump and walked right into the lava instead. Something else I'm noticing is there's, like, no mushroom in this level at all. There's probably a hidden one somewhere if I could find it. I don't want to mess around at this part. It's probably right around here with the hammer, brother. That's my guess. Because why would they give you a mushroom in a safe spot? They give it to you near the Hammer Brother, hoping the Hammer Brother will then take it from you.
Okay. Okay. Nice try. Okay, we got this. Like, there's a, a green tube there. It makes me think there's a warp somewhere in this level. Yeah, nice try. I'm on to you. They, they shoot the fireballs at such inconveniently timed moments. Fuck. I guess I should have kept waiting. It just seemed like... It, it sort of reminded me of, like, when you're waiting to turn right or left or something, and there's all these cars coming in both directions, and they just seem like they're never going to end. I, I sort of got a little bit of that feeling where I'm like, I just gotta go, you know? Thought I'd try that pipe just in case. Okay. Like how we haven't even seen Bowser yet in this level. We've only seen his spit. Which has killed me multiple times. Stupid fire breathing bully. Okay. All right, here we go. We got this. Oh, I can't believe I survived that. Yes! Eat it! <laughs> I kind of feel like in Mario 1 and 2, and like this Mario 2, uh, in Mario 1, the Japanese Mario 2, Bowser actually kind of sucks as a boss, you know? Like, think about the boss fights in Super Mario 2, like, the USA version. Um, you got, like, Fry Guy and Birdo, and, like, it's more interactive. The bosses have hit points, and you have to, like, do stuff to, like, get things that can hit them and things like that, you know? Like, there's, there's sort of just more interactivity and, like, complexity to the boss fights. Bowser in Mario 1 is basically, like... Just a guy you have to run past. That, that's it. There's nothing to him. Nothing. Um, and I know in like Mario Wonder and like the new Mario Wii and stuff, they tried to make him more complicated where like you can't jump over him and other like stuff like that. But like truthfully, it's like he's uh, he's really not that good of a boss. Like in, in the grand annals of like, you know, boss fighting bosses from video games and stuff. He's kind of a boring boss. There's, de there's definitely way cooler boss fights that have, like, multiple stages and stuff like that. Um, like, look at this bonus stage. Like, look at this nonsense. Don't get eaten by the plants as you try and get your coins. Your bonus coins. And I think... I was gonna say, I thought there was something there, but not really. I think I've had the Fire Flower, by the way, once this entire game. You know, like, I think we had it in, like, level 1-1, one, one, briefly. <laughs> Haven't had it since. That's for sure. Now, does this indicate that I missed something? I think it does. This might be the level where you have to go up into the sky. Find out. See ya, Hammer Brother! Oh god, he was on to me, though. Thought I was gonna zoom right past him, but... You know, this isn't the one. I think there are actually nine worlds. Which... <laughs> makes my life so, so infinitely worse. No, come on, there's gotta be eight. Don't do this to me. I mean, I could stop at any point, but... Can any gamer actually stop? You know, when... When you're like, oh, you know, I can stop playing anytime I want, and then you play the game till like, 5 in the morning and, like, risk your job because you're exhausted the next day? Um, can any gamer really stop whenever they want? I'm not convinced. I think we're junkies, guys. Just had the realization that we're actually the junkies. There we go. And, of course, I can't get it. The fire flower. Oh, we actually got a fire flower! <laughs> yes. Funny thing is, you get it, and you're like, I'm gonna breeze through the rest of this game, and then you instantly fall in a pit and die. Or... Kill the Lakitus. Hey, look, fire in a non-castle level. That's... Fuck. Pretty, uh... 
You don't see that in Mario 1. Shoot. Do they need that guy? If I fire flowered that guy, I'd be dead. Because you need him to do this. To do this. Last the fire flower, that's okay. <sighs> Sweaty palms. Um, another difference here in this game is that when you take a hit, if... In modern Mario games, if you, if you have a fire flower and you take a hit, you... Whatever. You become big. And if you take a hit when you're big, you become small. In this game, when you take a hit, no matter what you have, you become small. So if you're big, if you have a fire flower, whatever, you, uh... Sorry, I have to think about this for a second. You need, like, momentum when you get on this thing, and... Oh, God. Oh, my God. I think I screwed up. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I don't know where I am. This is a hard level. This one, I remember- I remember this one specifically. Because you get launched into orbit. You can make it to this one, no problem. Or just fall off like that. Uh, but this one's a very tricky one, because you have to sort of, like... <clears throat> you have to, This one, you just have to have, like, a Jedi sense of where you are. <laughs> you don't even get to see yourself. No arrow, nothing. They don't give you any tips, man. This is... This is old-school Nintendo. You gotta go by feel alone. They wanted to make a Japanese Mario 3 where all you had was your sense of smell to guide you, but... They figured that one was maybe a bridge too far. <sighs> okay, I'll land here. I think this is a mushroom. Take it. Okay, now what? <laughs> Okay, we're going. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, well at least we're here. We're like halfway through the level. Oh, I missed the thing! You know what, I think I'm gonna die and run out of lives. I don't know, I have three lives. I'm gonna say I might have to start this level from the start before we actually beat it. The trick is to, like, slow down but still inch forward. So you kind of, like, know where you are on the screen. Ah. Oh god. The wind! Oh, and they cut it off right there to try and screw you up. Okay, Castle 8, we did it. It's only been about an hour, which is long for a video, but this is our 900th video celebration. Now here, here's something fun to think about. We're on episode 900, but we're still in year nine, right? Like year nine started at episode 801 and is going to end on episode 901, not episode 900. I guess it ends on 900. Year 10 starts on 901. Um, I always have to remind myself, you know, like what year and everything I was on, because if you think about it, when I was on year one of this project, I was on episode, I started on, oh, well, now I'm just dead. I started on episode one, right? And then for year one, it was episodes one and it ended on 100. Year 2 started on episode 101 and ended on 200. Year 3 started on episode 201 and ended on 300. So, like, you might think year 1 is the 100s, but no, it's before the 100s, right? Like the... Oh, God. Jesus. Why are these so far apart that only Luigi can do it? What would Mario do? Mario would just be screwed. I know you may be wondering why I didn't go along the top. I believe it is a trap. Like most things in this game, if it seems easy, blip you, man. 
just blip you. I could have got a one-up if I shot it this way, I think. It's okay. I'm beyond needing extra lives. Luigi has realized he's immortal. Infinite continues. He's got this. Um... I totally forgot my train of thought. Oh yeah, the episodes. Yeah, yeah, so episode 900. Um... Like, they just launched those... I think the, the algorithms for the fireballs are literally designed to put them in the most inconvenient spots. I jumped a little too early there. That's okay, you know, we got to him with without too much trouble. So, if I get to him, like, another two times, statistically, randomly, at one point, my jump over him has to work out. Okay, let's go, 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 go! I don't know what's with the timing of these bridges, but it seems, like, very challenging. Um, so anyway, this caps off year 9, so year 10. We're gonna start off fresh on episode 901. That means we got one more year to complete this 1001 quest. 100 games left. 100 classics left, if I could be so bold. Uh, but yeah, it is, uh, I've talked about, I talked about this in the, the last video too, it is crazy that we're you know, just coming up on the end here of of the book. Kind of feel like, uh, I don't really know what it all means, you know, like, um, I've been playing the book so long, and the channel is organized around the thousand one. It does, we do more stuff on the channel these days, but definitely it's how I started, you know. Holy shit! <laughs> The, the timing of the fireballs, don't tell me that's random. There's absolutely no way that's random. 100% they are screwing with us. Oh, you bastards. Okay, these jumps are not as bad as they look. And they look real bad, some of those jumps. It looks like it's freaking impossible. That, th those, those timings have to be adjusted for Mario. There's no way Mario can make those. Okay, here we go. One up time. And I think... Oh, if I could have landed on it, we could have got another one. And then it will bounce back and you can like, in theory, get a whole bunch. Uh, it's very hard to do. But... I seem to recall... Being stuck on this level so long once that I was able to get basically infinite lives. Not truly infinite, but you know. God damn it! I guess I gotta slow down at this last part. It keeps killing me. Alright. Go. Oh god. What? What are you supposed to do there? The other platform was higher than mine. I feel like some of the, um, the platforms and stuff, they're sort of spawned randomly, but there's, like, no checks to make sure that they're possible to do. Yeah, like, that one was way easier. Like, it is totally random how those things are spawning. Some of those, I think some of those spawns are literally impossible for Mario. I would love to see Mario do, fuck, some of those impossible ones that I've done. I'm getting, I'm getting the, like, we're stuck feeling, but, like, I don't feel stuck in the sense of, like, I can totally do this. I can totally do this castle. But just, you, we've died so many times. I guess my concern is the video will become boring for you guys, but I don't know. You stuck around this long. Listening me, listening to me talk about absolute nonsense. Maybe I'll stick around a bit longer. Yes! Oh! I didn't want to talk while that was happening. Five lives right there, folks. We're back in the game. So if you can keep that turtle going against the wall, that's infinite lives right there, functionally. I mean, it'll cap out at some finite number. 
It's not, uh, truly... That fireball screwed me up! <laughs> not truly infinite, but... Yeah, anyway, whatever. More opportunity to get more lives. So I think, I think this is why I got really good at getting those infinite lives, because I'm pretty sure I got stuck on this castle just like what's happening now. And again, that that jumpy part right there is a little tricky. And then once you get over here, it's not too bad to consistently get to the turtle. And then if you can get good at this, I mean, you have many opportunities to practice. Let's see if we can do it again. Nope, jump too high. Too high. Okay, but we're getting one extra life every turn, so that's that's good. Means we're at least not declining. Okay. Where's that fireball? Get out of here. Alright, that. Nice try, Bowser. Nice try. sucked. I think this is a particularly difficult Bowser to beat, if I'm not mistaken, too. Pretty sure that's what's going on. God damn it. Alright, you know what? I want to keep trying this guy, but I feel like I'm, I'm stalling out here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the pressure off. And, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna calm the commentary down, and l let's do this. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah, eat it, Bowser! Yeah! Ugh, eat that, you stupid lizard! Oh, my hand. <laughs> my controller hand. I'm getting a gaming arthritis from this game. Oh, God, my hand. <sighs> there are nine levels, aren't there? Oh, God. I feel like I, I feel like Danny Danny Glover in uh, Lethal Weapon. Like I'm getting too old for this shit. Like I legit am. I don't know if my heart can take it. Heart palpitations, sweating must be Mario. Hey, you do got to bounce off those guys. Now I believe I believe. I mean, half of what I said about this game is wrong, so who knows? Who knows what I believe? But I believe... 8-2 is gonna be in the clouds. Or maybe that's... 9-1 that's in the clouds. Hmm, I don't know anymore. I don't know what is real. Boink. Get out of here. Okay. So, you do have to bounce off these guys. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I got him, Luigi. Ah, Jesus. Whatever. Whoa! Bullet Bill is screwing me. Okay. We gotta bounce off that guy, too. <sighs> oh, there we go. And jump over that guy. And just avoid that guy. All together. I want to say there's something up there. But I can't get up there. I remember the original World 8 in uh, Mario 1. That thing was crazy difficult. I just remember it. It was like, it looked like level 1, but it felt so... Oh, it's the last... Oh, okay. Uh, it, lo it looks like level one, right? Like it's got the grass and everything. 
There's so many pits and traps, and it's so challenging. It felt like some far away land that was like just brutal. There we go. Take it. Oh, I think if you knock that guy, yeah, if you knock him to the left, he bounces back and then he hits all the turtles and these guys and you get a one up. They actually do give you a fair amount of opportunities to earn a one up in this game. Now, I think, do I do this? No, you don't want that. <laughs> oh, I almost got tricked there. Oh, I missed it. You're supposed to bonk that brick. And in there is a vine. Oh, are you kidding me? In there is a vine that will go up. And yeah, World 8-2 takes place in the clouds. It's okay that I died, because I got to get that brick. But you do not want that star. That is a trick. They're punking you. Like, in the time it takes you to... Oh, maybe I can do this, actually. Huh. No. Uh, in, in, in theory, the time it takes you to get that mushroom, it's like delaying your ability to um, get the, uh, the extra life from that buzzy beetle guy. Or it's making it very challenging, at least. There we go. Well, always take the mushroom. Because mushrooms matter, guys. Go! Okay, he just bounced away to nothing. I feel like that extra life is really hard to get. Yes. Yo. Okay, here we go. Yes. Got it. Get out of here, hammer bros. Okay, so here is the real level eight ending. Oh god, I'm a sl <laughs> If I had slid off the end there. <laughs> Okay, maybe level 8 is the end. There's 8-3, which is in the clouds, which is a real bitch, I recall. And then 8-4, I think, is the final level of the game, yeah. This, this level is hard. Um, is there a way to go down here? No. Okay, do you want to go over? Oh, that guy. There's, like, invisible blocks you have to hit at one point to actually pass the level, I seem to recall. Look how every Hammer Brothers... Oh, I got it. Jumps... Oh! Are you kidding me?! <laughs> no! <laughs> that vine is needed to pass the level, alright. Now what happens? Huh? Huh? Or maybe that vine wasn't needed. <sighs> There's another hidden block, I think. There it is. Okay, jump. Jump. Holy! Uh, oh! I guess that extra... Where did that extra vine go? If we're already in the clouds, where would that other vine have gone? Wow. I, I legit remember this level as being brutal. Like, just brutal. I can't believe we actually uh, passed it. So this, I think you have to jump down here. <laughs> Just uh, awkwardly wait under that thing while it tries to kill me. Oh, frick. A lot of these levels are designed that if you're big, you're just going to hit your, your head on the ceiling and be done. I think maybe I can actually make this jump small. Not if you hit the ceiling, though. Let me just double check. I mean, we're burning our lives, but no. You have to go down to the bottom. You literally have to. I do think... Can I just do this? Slide on the wall. Oops. Slide on the wall. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it cleanly. Okay. Okay, now I think you do have to go in the pipe that's right under me right there. <sighs> I should press down. Jeez. I mean, I, I can't believe we're on the final level, guys. Truthfully. 
Not sure if we're gonna make it or not. But just the fact that we made it this far. Also, I remember this taking me like, you know, again, like all afternoon. Like I started at lunchtime and I like played until maybe like five or six. Then I met my friends and we went to the party and stuff like that. Like that's my memory of having played this game. I think we're, well, I mean, I cut out all the wasted time I spent trying to beat Castle. I mean, Castle 7 is hard. But still, what are we at? Like, a little over an hour of actual video time, so... Okay, this... Yeah, that's... Woof! Like, how did, they, how, how did they put that jump in the game and expect people to be able to make it? I mean, I guess I made it. Oh yeah, and there's an invisible evil mushroom there. Get that bleep bloop over here. Come on, bleep bloop! Alright. Oh god. Oh, and I remember that too! I remember there was a... As soon as I jumped over that turtle shot, like something... I just had a feeling in my gut, I'm like, something's about to kill me. They put a hidden block here. I mean, to Bowser's credit, I will say this is... Oh my god. Oh man, they really trapped me there. To Bowser's credit, these are actually good traps. You know, it's sort of like, uh... The, you know, not like an ongoing joke, but like one question Mario lore is like, why is Bowser putting mushrooms in his castle to help Mario, right? Like, he's literally putting fire flowers in his castle to help Mario. At least this time Bowser's booby trapping things to the best of his ability, like... He's doing a good job this time around. I hate it, and I hate him, but he, y you can't fault the guy, right? He's a bad guy. Shit, he's doing what he needs to do to survive. Oh, one life left. This is another castle where, like, I feel it in my muscle memory that I know how to do a lot of these parts. I also feel like I'm quite rusty. And I also feel like it could take an insane amount of time. So, I want to try a few more times while I'm talking to you guys, but then I might have to turn... I think I just might have to turn the pressure dial down on this game because it is so hard. And it, it is, it is challenging to talk and play games at the same time. I always, <laughs> I always feel like you guys have the impression of me that like I like games, but I'm certainly not very good at uh, too many. Oh God. Um, and the funny thing is, so on Castle 7 there, when I was having so much trouble, the second I stopped talking and I just focused, um, I was able to fly through that castle so much faster on each run. And yeah, it still took me a handful of tries before I beat Bowser, but it's like... Um, I just felt like I was playing better. So it's like, it really does... Really is challenging to talk and play. Oh, I hate this jump. I really do, I hate this jump. <sighs> you have to do like a, a first jump to like lure the piranha plant out, then as it's going down, that's when you do your second jump. You do that part. I don't know if I can jump on top of those guys, so I'm not even gonna try. Just test, test the air before I do that. Okay. I don't know what I want to do here. Oh, this is a, this is a puzzle, I think. Yeah, this is a puzzle section of the castle. I think you have to jump on this guy. Go up. Oh, crap. <sighs> okay, let's do one more. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll do one more try, like, live, and then I think I'm just gonna... I'll edit out all the nonsense. I could be here for, like, half an hour. Maybe this is why it did feel like it took all afternoon. I got here pretty quick, and then I spent, like, two hours. Uh, back in the day. Okay, can do that. That's tricky. It's, it's weird in Mario to hold left. Because it's like you're always so used to holding right. Like, right and down is very comfortable for me. If I had to jump right onto a pipe and then slide into it, I could. Left and down just feels awkward and it's difficult. It's just harder. It's weird how specific the human brain can get. Oh, messed that one up. Didn't feel good about that one. Got it. That, that is a, a stressful jump, but I feel like I can make it semi-consistently. Okay, here's... 
You say, here's where things get interesting, boys. Die instantly. All right, all right, all right. I gotta stop talking. Guys, I'm gonna shut up for a while and play. I will see you on the other side. Fuck me. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god. Okay, you can jump on those guys. For the record. Oh, is this it? I think it is. This is a long hallway. Jeez. You son of a- I can't believe I made that! <laughs> oh god, the stress. God! <laughs> Huh. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Jump. Yeah, you suck. You suck, Bowser. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We beat Mario too. I'm Italian now. We beat it, man. Ooh. I didn't know, uh, I didn't know Luigi and Peach had a side thing going on. Good thing Mario didn't come, actually. Thank you, Luigi! The kingdom is saved! Now try a more difficult quest. Bug you! What are you talking about? <laughs> Why? Why would you make it more to A1? A1? These are just, like, totally different levels. Okay, well, we're not gonna do these. Because unfortunately, my my tolerance for punishment and pain is at a maximum. Maybe this is maybe this is legit. Why it actually did take all afternoon? Maybe there's a whole new set of levels. But Mario Two here, known in the West as Mario: The Lost Levels, known in Japan as the True Mario Two. What do you guys think of this game? It's one of the games in the book, 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. And it basically is our sign-off for the end of year nine. The next video will officially mark the begin of a, beginning of our 10th and final year of this quest. Although I say year in quotations because we, uh, we definitely took a year and a bit to get through this last year. So our last year, you guys know, I've I'm broken record at this point, but I'm making a game called Metal Merc, so I'm super busy these days. I got other things going on. So one year of quest time, maybe more like, uh, I don't know, the 14... 15 months or something of real time. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Guys, we will be finishing the 1001 quest mostly over the next year and so on. If you have been enjoying this journey, do not forget to like the video. Subscribe and get everyone you know to subscribe. And of course, leave me a comment down below uh, just to say hey. Okay, what is, what is happening here with these turtles? I'm very curious. So if I, I... I slid in here once. Okay, that's that. I kind of want to go in between these other two and find out what's in here. Uh, nothing. Okay, all that work for absolutely nothing. <sighs> okay, well, anyway, the game is going to continue to punish me if I keep playing it. I gotta stop. Guys, it has been fun. I can't believe we beat the last levels. It is up there as super... Super fun, ultimately. It's one of those games that, like, while you're playing, you can get so frustrated that you curse and stuff. And then when you walk away, you're like, I did that, man. Like, I achieved something. So I have a, I have a tremendous sense of achievement from having played this game with you guys today. That said, I don't want to play it anytime soon again. It is so hard. But it is a fun game. It is fun. So, guys, what do you think of the last levels here? Let me know in the comments and blah, blah, blah. I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, peace.